Hey, what's up, guys? Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews, and today I have the Next Smart D32 Android TV box. The specs for this box will be on the screen right now. So you can see this is a, a Rock Chip RK3229 Quad Core Cortex A7 1.5 GHz. It's got a Penta Core HD graphics, 1 GB of DDR3 RAM, 8 GB eMMC flash and it's got Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz okay so let's open this up okay tiny in size it's very small you got the next smart logo on there it's like a chrome logo with the 4k symbol so let's just have a look okay. so let's have a look at the ports okay so we've got the micro SD card slot there got two USB ports you've got the power HDMI AV um, your Ethernet LAN port and your SPDIF port yeah I like the chrome logo it's very small this is one of the smallest Android TV boxes that I've um, reviewed and it's very light so what else is in the box remote control HDMI cable power and your instruction manual in English yeah okay okay it's so a quick look at the remote quite a nice remote good feel to it and you've got the Kodi Kodi shortcut there all your usual controls yeah so we'll be testing that out later okay so I'm gonna hook all this up as usual and I'm gonna give you guys a look at what the menus look like and we're gonna do some performance testing on this yeah so I've just connected this up to my telly you can see the menus in the background so this is the home screen for the next smart 4k box you can see the logo at the bottom right hand corner which is quite a nice neat touch yeah so this is a kind of a different home screen than what we're used to on Android TV boxes so you can see the shortcuts we got. We got Kodi recommended my apps. We got Kodi Center, Netflix, Google Play, Settings, and Clean Memory. So if I go to All Apps, I'll give you a quick look at what all the apps are pre-installed on this Kodi box. So you can see this is what you get as standard. Quite a few apps on there later on what I'll do is install my favorite apps on this Kodi box so the first thing you do when you turn your Android TV box on is connect to the internet so I'm gonna to connect to my Wi-Fi and I'm connected so this box supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi go to advanced touch sounds connect to PC system update okay so as you can see this is running Android 5.1.1 so I've just installed all my favorite apps on this box. So you've got the latest version of YouTube, Super Nintendo emulator, BBC iPlayer, Showbox, and Live Net TV. So the first thing I want to do is test out Kodi, which is this software here. It says Amazing Kodi with Spider-Man on it. Basically, Kodi is a, is a media player software which allows you to watch the latest movies, TV shows, uh, pay-per-view events, and sports. And I've installed my own Chicks all-in-one build. All right, so let's open up Kodi. Okay, so this is it. This is the Chigs all-in-one build for Kodi. This is my own build. If you do want to know how to install this build, I'll put the link in the description for you. Um, just a quick look at what this build is. So you got all your latest fights on this side. So fights like wrestling, boxing, pay-per-view events, UFC, etc. You got sports, football, American sports. Latest movies are at the bottom in order. And all your latest TV shows will appear at the bottom. So these are the live TV channels. Just to give you a quick look what to expect. You can see all the channels there. I'll even try something. Okay, so let's come out of this. As you can see, you can still watch your program in the background while you're browsing other channels. So you, we've got a world section here for your Bollywood stuff. Then you've got um, favorites. So you can add stuff to the favorites over here. And these are all your programs. 
and system settings. Yeah, so that's Cody and that's the Chigs build. I'm going to exit the Cody now. So I just exit Cody. Next up, I'd like to show you working on this Android TV box is Showbox. So this is Showbox, one of my favorite apps. It allows you to watch all the latest movies and videos. If you can't use a standard remote for Showbox, you need a mouse attached. So any wireless mouse will do, or even a wired mouse. But I'm actually using this awesome device. It's got its own mouse pad in there. And I use this for all my Android boxes. It's, it's the best for navigation. So you can just use your mouse at the top, click it, or use the buttons. So Showbox allows you to watch the latest movies and TV shows directly on your Android TV box. Um, it also lets you download them. So just for this example, if I open up yeah, so over here you get the IMDb rating of the movie, you can watch a trailer, or or you can straight away start watching. Okay, so I just skipped a bit, just to show you. Okay, so that's that, let's come out of this. Okay, so that was Showbox. Another app that I always use on my Android TV boxes is this one, LiveNet TV. Okay guys, so this is LiveNet TV. It lets you watch all the latest TV channels. It has all the channels that you can think of. If I just play something just to show you. And there you go. So it's really quick in loading up the channels. So you go to movies. And again, you've got your usual Indian stuff at the top. Then you've got your UK channels. Okay, so I'm sure that gives you a good idea. I'll quickly go to sports. This is a really good app and if you want to know how to install it, you'll see the links in the description. Let's just have a quick look at BBC iPlayer. So this is BBC iPlayer for UK broadcasting. I'll just play anything just to show you. And there you go. Really quick. The quality is amazing. Works brilliantly. I'll come out of it. Alright, so I've got my USB stick. This contains a few HD files. And I'm about to plug this into the USB port. Alright, so we open videos. Go to USB disk. And then we open up movies. So the first video I want to try is Ultra HD 4K clip. It's a Barcelona match. So this is a Samsung Ultra HD 4K demo clip. I use this clip in most of my Android TV boxes to test out how well it plays 4K videos. Okay, so let's come out of this and go into the next clip. This is this is a 1080p HD clip. Yeah, it's playing this 1080p clip very well. Full HD clip. And as you can see, that's playing very well. Yeah, the next clip I'm going to play is a 720p HD movie. So I just forward it a bit. So it handles the video files very well. I've tried mkv.ts, .mp4s. So it handles all different movie formats perfectly, straight off your USB drive. And as you can see, you can watch crystal clear movies on this Android TV box. Alright, so let's test out gaming now. We've done a fair bit of video streaming and let's see how this box copes with gaming. So I'm going to be testing this Android TV box's gaming capabilities with Dead Trigger 2. Dead Trigger 2 is quite a graphically in intense game and that is the game I use to test out most devices. Okay, so I've got my controller set up. It's a 360 controller and it's working absolutely fine. So the game actually plays really well on this. I was, I'm actually surprised. So yeah, the graphics look great. The gameplay is smooth. And there's no stuttering or anything like that. And it's playing very well, surprisingly well.
This is it, the D32 Android TV box by Nexmart, running Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. I'll put the specs up on the screen so you can check them out. The model does have 1GB RAM and 8GB ROM. So my final thoughts on this box. This is a very good TV box for the price, it works very well. The gaming is very good and I was able to play Dead Trigger 2 with no issues or lagging. The D32 is excellent at streaming online content and watching HD and 4K movies. I was able to attach a USB mouse, keyboard and an Xbox 360 controller and they all worked instantly. So this box will transform your existing television into a smart television, giving you access to movies, TV shows, live events, pay-per-views and a lot more. The box is small, light and you can easily travel with this anywhere. The silver chrome logo really does stand out and it's a nice looking box. So if you want more information on this product or if you'd like to buy one yourself, I'll put links in the description so you can check that out. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching.